everybody, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Model Bench. Uh, some of you may remember the other day I did my May sort of thank yous and updates and everything, and I mentioned in there if you've got a 124th scale Hawker Typhoon from Airfix, then I've got a little review coming for you for a little added extra. And here it is. This is another beautiful masking and stencil mask set for the Airfix 124th scale Typhoon. And if you haven't seen one of these before, go back and have a look. I've reviewed lots of them. Um, and they are beautiful, beautiful masking sets. And unlike your your normal masking sets that you buy from the likes of DN Models, so I will say, DN Models makes masks. If you like vinyl, go to DN Models. If you like your Kabuki tape, then come to One Man Army. Um, but these things are absolutely gorgeous. And they're not just masks like on your insignia and stuff and your lettering and everything. They actually include all your stencils as well. Before we look in there, I'm just going to show you some of what's available what's in here and you can see here these masks if i hold that up close you should be able to work all that out and you can actually read it as well obviously in 24 scale you will be able to and you can see that what you've got are these tiny little masks here that peel off the sheet and you can see the lettering in there and when you paint over it the lettering what you can remove the mask and the lettering is there painted over the beauty of this overusing decals is a you don't have any carrier film and if you've seen my um, Apache then you'll see what that's all about. <laughs> um, so you don't have any carrier film which is great. You can change the colour. Now quite often we know that a lot of decal manufacturers get the colours wrong. So you can actually have the correct colour like they may use a, a black when it should be a very dark grey for instance. Like with your Lancasters, some years had the, the markings underneath the fuselage in light grey. Some of them had them in red. So you can do, you, you can work to your heart's content. You can weather them. You could actually put them down um, and then go over them and then put them down again. So you've got it just, you know, like it's been repainted. Uh, there's lots and lots of different things you can do that you can't do with decals. And as I say, if you look at them, they're absolutely gorgeous. And he also does things like this is the, the guy's a one man band. The guy's name is Sven. And what he does, he'll give you this template here. So those two decals, the decals, those two masks there will go into that grid and then you remove that or leave it on there or whatever. And that will give you the right positioning for those actual masks. And then we've got more here you can see, which are, they're basically designed to replace the Airfix decals. Now don't get me wrong, the Airfix decals are cartograph and they go down very nice. But remember, these aircraft didn't have decals on. All this stuff was painted on, so you can do the same. You can paint them on and get that painted on look. And as I say, if the colours are wrong in the decals, no fear, you can just go and do your own thing. So let's have a look inside here. If you've seen one of these before, you know what's coming. Um, if you haven't, then I think you'll be very surprised at the absolute beauty of all this stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's always an issue getting these out of these packets because they fit so well. It's not really difficult to pull them out. There we go. Right. So we got that out of the envelope. So if we look on the front here, it's given us a general sort of a lovely picture there of a pilot running up to his typhoon. You've got some examples here of what you've got in there. Um, and the One Man Army logo and the One Man Army .be web address there you can go to to see what else he does. So going over the page there, on the back here you've got all the different options and generally what he does is the same as the kit instructions or a selection of the kit instructions. So here we've got um, Typhoon 1B number 1 to 1 wing, RAF Holmesley June 44, we've got um, France and Belgium June September 44 and we've got uh, Royal Canadian Air Force Netherlands and Germany 1945. So we've got three choices there and then we've got all the different roundels, you can have all of those in, the, in your masks. And then we've got all the different um, stencils here. You can see this is a selection of them. And I've just shown you some there as well. And uh, and then some general tips about um, here. The main thing is with this, if, if you've seen me, I've done a couple of videos actually using these. If you go into my videos and search One Man Army, um, not one O-N-E, but One Man Army, the, the number one, um, and you'll search and you'll see me do, you're doing some work with them. And they are absolutely stunning. So... Opening up here, what we've got in here is our actual masks and generic instructions. This is our actual placement guide. So this is showing us where everything's going to go. 
um, check your references on text orientation so you might want to have a look at your references I can recommend the wing leader book the uh, photo archive I can't remember which number it is I think it may be number 20 I can't remember now I did I've done a review of that book as well so go and have a look at that um, and then you've got all your, your different um, stencils going on I know we've got stencils for the walkways on the wings as well which is uh, masks for the walkway on the wings we've got um, oil capacity here we've got the fairing is armoured um, check your references whether that goes there or not trestle here check your references for exact position jack here jack here the same one basically the same all repeated on this other side and then you've got two different options there you can see for the 24 volts one is in a line and one is the wording about underneath the numbers so there you go so it's all there and uh, very very nice it is too and then within the packet you also get generic instructions now I've gone through these a multitude of times but I'll quickly go through them again and it's just basically some hints and tips on using them so first things first pick the left hand lower corner up of the mask and put a little tiny bit of masking tape on it and that way it makes it easier to lift off you can see here we've got the the corners they're easy to lift off okay so you can easily just grab it with a pair of tweezers then they're generally not reusable because of the they're because they're so fine generally once you peel them off the when you peel off the backing paper it's fine but when you peel them off the model it, they do tend to sort of distort and pull apart a bit so telling you here about how to space everything out you know put a put a line on there uh, you might make a line along the, the, the trailing edge of the wing whatever where you're going to put your no steps and you can mark the spacing uh, of where the center of the lettering is going to be and you have a straight piece of tape there so when you put them down they all end up in line and they're not all like this or not equispaced and then this one here is a good one for copying onto the other side so if you wanted to put this no step on that wing underneath or on the other side I don't know why you'd put a no step underneath thinking about it but um, you put a no step on the other side what you do is get a piece of masking tape you put your mask in place where you want it mark the center get a piece of masking tape he's made a triangle here it doesn't have to be a triangle mark on the panel lines there mark on the center there mark on the panel line there and then put another piece of masking tape over it remove it and then you can stick it down on the other side and you see you've got that lined up there that lined up there that lined up there and you've got the V which is where you know steps going to go so that you can guarantee carrying it over here we talk about the um, transfer tape and I've done I've, I've shown you all this on video using transfer tape obviously if you just pull that three off of the masking there when you pull it off it's all going to distort and go out of shape so what you do is you pick out the actual three then you put your transfer tape over the top which is just another piece of masking tape peel that off okay and that purple piece of transfer tape will hold the three in shape then you can put it down on your model and then peel the transfer tape off okay and then you're left with the the three there all correctly shaped and then you can use that as the mask the same here piece of transfer tape to keep that circle round okay and then a piece of transfer tape to keep that star all in the correct shape so basically here what you would do is put that on the model mask off around it spray it white okay then put your um sorry you'd spray that blue wouldn't you um or whatever color it's good so no, you'd spray it white wouldn't you that's right yeah and then you put this one over okay remove the transfer tape and then spray that black or blue whatever color you're going to do it and then you peel that off and you've got your 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 round star so that's basically what it's all about. Removing masks, um, you, you should leave them. Should never leave them on for more than a couple of days. Um, don't go leaving them on for more than one day if you can help it. And don't leave it in sunshine and hot weather. If you do happen to get any residue um, left on there, it will often come off with a, if it's on clear parts or whatever. You can get use a bit of um, alcohol or whatever, but you can generally get it off with soap and water. Um, and you have to remove them very very slowly remember that left hand corner is really important do that lower left hand corner it makes them so easy to lift off and avoid scratching the paint so looking at the actual masks themselves it's very difficult to review masks because it's very difficult to really show you anything so in this set we've actually got four sheets here we haven't got any replicated have we no we've got four sheets so here you can see we've got roundel. So you can see this is the roundel for the side of the wing, side of the fuselage, I believe. Yes, 15 is the fuselage sides. So you can see here, in the first one, you've got a mask for the complete, all the different shapes. And then you've got the outer circle, then you've got the white, and then you've got the inner circle. 
So you would actually go through this and choose how you would do it yourself. Um, personally, I think I would put this one on, okay, spray the white. or stop. You'd have to work it out yourself, but basically what you want to try and do is work from white to yellow to blue to red. Um, but it's very, very difficult to do with all these colours. So you just work it out your own way, really. Um, but basically, you've got the full thing there. So you can actually put some transfer tape on there. You could remove just that circle, the outer circle, spray it yellow. You could then put that one over the top and spray the blue. You could then put that one over the top and spray the white and then put that one over the top and spray the red. Or you could just do a mishmash of all of it. And so you can start and go from white to yellow, to red, to blue, or whatever. But uh, you, have to, you have to work it all out yourself. Um, and then down here we've got some more randles there. These are probably for the wing undersides. And then down here we've got the... Sorry, the cough thing, guys. Down here we've got the start of the stenciling. So we've got this fairing is armed. We've got coolant. You can see down there we've got 24 volts. And as you can see, they are so, so beautifully cut. They are absolutely gorgeous. Trestle here, check firing circuits before connecting leads, the WT one there. And then here we've got our walkways last here. We've got spares of everything. If you see an X on anything, it's a spare. So if you've got two kits, then you might be able to get away with using them. Um, and here we've got those I showed you earlier with the, the block there for the spacing. And then we've got the 24 volts here. And then we've got something I can't even, so small I can't even see it there. We've got fuel 100 octane. So that's all there. You can see it's very, very beautifully cut and sharp. Apologise for my nails, guys. I bite them. They're disgusting. I'm sorry. Um, and then here we've got pulverizer four. <laughs> uh, and then here we've got our fin flashes. And I did notice the way they're asking you to do this is to put down this square, put some masking tape around it, remove the square, and then you can put these within the square as required. So you can paint the whole thing white and then use transfer tape to put that in. OK, and you could then remove part of it and paint it red and then put that back in, remove the other part and paint it blue. Use masking tape, whatever. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do this. Just just needs a bit of forethought, that's all. And then here we've got the, um, this is the, is this the upper wing roundels? I'm guessing this is the upper wing roundels. Wing upper surfaces 1A, 2A. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I think those those are the wing upper surfaces. These are the wing under surfaces. Nope, there's what's two A. Okay, this is another. There's there's different. Um, I didn't realise we've got upper wing surfaces and lower wing surfaces for different periods of time. So that's why we've got so many decals. So if you're into your twenty four scale RAF aircraft, you're going to have enough spares here to do another model link. Uh, so you've got all the lettering there. We've got the the yellow, white, red, and blue. Uh, round all there and then over here yeah this is just the red and blue one okay so that's the the later upper wing round all, and that's the earlier one there and then we've got numbers here we've got all our serial codes down there you can see how sharply cut they are they are absolutely gorgeous and um very very nice indeed and we've got all the stencils down there and then more lettering so it's an absolutely gorgeous set, and I would say in 24 scale, it's a must. You know, the, the great big decals. I mean, you, you've probably just seen me finish my Spitfire Mark 9, which he also does a set for. And I've done that out of the box, so I used the decals, and they did go down like a dream. But I will say, you can still see they are decals. They're, you know, they go down, they don't look painted on at all, and they're cartographed. They're the best decals you can get. But in 24 scale, when you've got roundels like this, I would seriously suggest going down the masking and painting them option or like you know like a 30 second scale Lancaster definitely definitely paint them don't use the decals so there we go so that has been a review of this set and the part number is 24 DET 011 if you're in the UK you can get these from Hannant's um, I think they're available now from Hannant's uh, this is one of the latest sets he's done, and we've got another couple on the way, which I'll we'll have to review for you within the next two weeks, I would have thought. So stay tuned. Um, 
and uh, go get yourself a set. These these things are absolutely lovely. I'm fortunate in that he sent me two sets. I was going to give one away and then I thought, hang on a minute, I've got three of these kits, so I'm not going to give one away. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'll see you all soon. Thank you for watching. And uh, as I say, get over to Hanant's or if you go and look at the One Man Army um, website, it's there. One Man Army BE, you will see a list of all his suppliers and he's also after he's looking for new suppliers as well. So if you're interested, get in touch. I'll see you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.